Alright, hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Legends of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Or Ocarina. <laughs> I'm gonna be. I say Ocarina, darn it, and I don't care. Anyways, in this video, we're going to actually try and help the Deku Tree out. So let's go in his mouth. Whee! It's like we're a. Aspirin or something. I don't know. It's kind of the analogy you like to think of. Anyways, the first dungeon of the game, Inside the Deku Tree. Actually, I like this dungeon a whole lot. It's pretty uh, well designed, actually. It's kind of interesting, too. Which you'll see soon. But, anyways, a Deku Baba. I'm gonna slash you. Come over here. Get my shield out. What you got? What you got, man? Are right, you gonna slap? Okay. Oh, okay, just killed you. All right. And the reason I wanted to do that was you get a new item if you kill the uh, Deku Bobbles like that, which is the Deku Nut, which you can select, and it can stun people, which is cool. And I'm going to put the Deku Stick and the Deku Nut, or that Deku, yeah, and put them on my C buttons, left and right, respectively, and that's cool. Anyways, if you come up here though, uh, you, you, another thing that like it's kind of cool about this game, you don't jump. To jump, you have to, like, there's no jump button, really. To jump, you have to, like, go over something that you can jump, and I'll just do it automatically. I always liked that. Anyways, if you go in this treasure chest, what the credit begin to get? Oh my gosh, it's gonna be an awesome so No, it's just the map. So, yeah, the map. Uh, let me explain. The map, the map, the map, the map. It lets you see stuff, and it tells you what floor you're on, which is nice. So, yeah, um, the blue areas are areas you've been to, and the, um, non-filled-in areas are places you've yet to been to, so... That's cool. And look at the wall, you can climb on it, Navi. Yes, I know, yes, I know. I decided, um, you know, I'm just going to paraphrase the story to the most of my ability. If there's a, um, particular, like, kind of dialogue I like, I'll definitely, um, use my Bowser voice on it. <laughs> Am I? Hello there, Mario, I'm Preach! <laughs> voice and stuff. No, I like those voices, actually. It's gonna become a joke with myself, I guess. That's all I can say. But holy crap, that thing just slammed. And now we get to fight this Deku Scrub. And this Deku Scrub's gonna shoot nuts at you, and you just gotta bounce those nuts back. And that is all good. And now you gotta walk up to him and be like, oh, well, I for I for I forgive me, master. I'll give you a clue if you let me go. And he's just saying if you jump off cliffs and hold forward on the right, I mean, the analog stick, you forward. Yeah. I always find that weird, like, in video games, how, like, they'll say, like, press that start button. It's like, what are you talking about? Like, in real life, you don't go up to your friend and, like, hey, where are the cups? Oh, if you go into your start menu and select cups, you can blah, blah, blah. This, this is weird. Oh, no. That's, like, poking fun at the stuff like that. Anyways, if you, if you jump on that floating brownie, look at that. That's a, fro that's a floating brownie. It's like, what the crud is that? Nah, I'm gonna save that floating brownie for later, though. That sounds so tasty, a floating brownie. It's like, you don't even have to hold it to eat it. That's the epitome of laziness, I guess. Anyways, if you open up this chest, you're gonna get, oh my gosh, that was an awesome sword of awesomeness. No, it's just a slingshot. But hey, the slingshot's cool too. Very slingshot, very, very useful item early on in the game. Uh, j yeah, yeah, you can put it on the C stick buttons. And you can j shoot Deku seeds, which are different than Deku nuts. Do not be confused. I've said Deku like 90 times in this episode, dang. Anywho, I'm gonna I'm gonna put that on and go over here. And yeah, you don't have infinite ammo with the slingshot, so don't go wasting it. Anyways, um, you'd originally like to exit this room, you gotta shoot down that ladder, but I don't do that ever, <laughs> cause I uh, I I was never done that that way. I don't know. I'm just playing the game like I'm playing it. I just I just play the I just like playing the game how I play in it. That doesn't make any sense. Anywho, if you come over here, you you know, you're gonna chop that and get. Oh yeah, this is what the ammo looks like for the slingshot. I make sure to tell you that, because you might be like, "Wait, the crit is dead!" Oh my gosh. Anyways, if you try to scale, scale that wall or this wall earlier, you couldn't because there'd be these spider skulltula things, and uh, you gotta shoot them off with a slingshot. Pretty easy puzzle early on in the game, wouldn't you say? Huh. Anyways, uh, just climb up here. S something I really like about the um the game though is. To aim the slingshot, you don't have a like a dot that's like, okay, sh this is how you shoot. It's actually you have to like aim with an actual slingshot. I always liked that. Some people say that's like harder, but like it's more realistic. <laughs> I don't know. Eh, it's just tiny little things like that that make this game. I really like it. Holy crap! Look at this jerk. It's like, yeah, yeah, I slap your butt, slap your butt, I slash your butt, dude. Yeah, being annoying. <laughs> Anyways, uh, those are giant skulltulas, and they uh, they just they just stupid because they show you their weakness. Hey, I'm just gonna come in here, and this is the point in the game where I say this is going to be a 100% run. And by that I mean I'm getting every tiny little thing in the game. So don't ask if I am or not, because it is. Because I find that uh, that's how you get the most out of your games, you know. And this is just, this is the first of many things I'm going to have to kill. 
which are the golden skulltulas. And every time you get a gold skulltula, you'll get a token proving that you did it. So pretty rad. Um, I just pretty rad. Wow, what a loser. Recovery heart there. Might as well get it. There's this jerk. What's he? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, shooting you in the butt. Shot you in the butt. Shot you in the mud again. I just like doing that. I don't know. I don't know why. I'm just, I just have little weird things in this game that, like, I always do. It's like, there's no rhyme or reason to it. I just... It's just like, I've played this game so many times, it's become like a ritual or something. And the bad kind of ritual, though. Just, you know, just like a daily routine. Like, you know, slap the butt, slap the... Uh, just never mind. <laughs> uh, anyways. If you press on the switch, though, these little platform things will rise up. Rise up and attack platforms! Mwah! And leading you to this chest, and oh my gosh, can we get an awesome laser sword or something? Please. We've got a slingshot and a- oh uh, my gosh. This is the compass, which I'll explain. Also, the um compass adds onto the map, and it shows you pretty much everywhere. It also shows you where the chests are, and the uh, skulls where the boss is located. That's I like that, actually. It's kind of cool. Anywho, um, now we've pretty much gotten everything we need in this room, so might as well leave. Might as well leave. Like leaf. Like grass types. I don't know. I always called them leaf types in Pokemon. Uh, yeah, I just got I just got done filming some Pokemon Stadium, I don't know. It's just uh yeah. Feels kinda weird doing like Zelda and like Pokemon Stadium at the same time. I don't know. Wow, you said I don't know, like eighty billion times. Anywho, if you come down here and you you gotta fall like right on this thing, okay? And, uh, you'll fall through and land perfectly safely in the water, even though you fell, like, three stories, and that'd totally kill anyone in real life. And there's Deku Baba down here. No, you care about that Deku Baba. And I like how the stick just lands perfectly straight up. It's just like... Meh. Anywho, um... Another sculpture over here. There's actually three in this... Is there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is. And my sound on my TV is kind of low, so... I made actually... They, they make a noise when... You, um... Oh yeah, there are three. That, that means there's four, because one you can't get right now, and you have to come back and get it. Anyways, that's two. And don't worry, I know like where every sculpture is. But I may not get it the first time, just because, you know. And in some cases, there are better times to get the sculptures than doing it right away. So, don't worry about that. I'll get to it eventually. Yeah, I'm going to kill this jerk. Aim my slingshot. And I'm going to climb these vines. I just, like, fell inside of the vines. That's crazy. The vines. There's no word that means vimes, by the way. You're just dumb. Uh-huh. You know, uh, but there's a door, like, over there, but it's covered up by, like, stinking, like, spider webs. How am I gonna get over there? I'm gonna take my Deku stick, and I don't even care what it's, what's in that chest, honestly. And I'm gonna cross this land, and then we're gonna just roll head first into one, but BAM! What you got? What you got, webs? You ain't got nothing. You ain't Spider-Man. Uh, I, I just got finished watching Spider-Man 1 recently. Like they ripped the first movie. Anyways, another Deku scrubbed me like, please forgive me, master. I'll do everything. <laughs> if you spare me, I'll teach you something cool. You will never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. The order is two, three, one. <laughs> 23, 23 is the number one. <laughs> I don't get that. But anyways, do you think I'm a traitor? Yes, I do, actually. You know, they're your brothers. I mean, come on. Yeah. Anywho, shoot that thing with your slingshot. I mean, the... <laughs> Early on in the game, though, the puzzles are just so, like, trivial and easy to figure out. It's like, huh. Even when I was, like, four years old, I could figure this junk out. Anywho, yes, I know how to dive underwater. I'm not stupid. It's kind of weird. How did, how, did, like, how did Link, like, learn to, like, swim? Like, there's hardly any water where he lives. I find that kind of weird. Anyway, to lower the water in here so you can pass under that bridge, or, uh, under, with that platform, just gotta dive and hit that switch. And you come over here. We have to patiently wait for the uh, platform, though, so this might take a while. Come on, Mr. Platform! Come on! Ah! Dear! Ah! Okay. Quit spazzing out. I'm gonna block here just because I like to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spinny, spinny, spinny. Anyway. Jump over here, and there'll be a fat sculptula. And shoot him in the butt. And I wonder if you can shoot him again, like, instantly. No, you can't. Okay. Anyways, oh my gosh, Navi, shut up. I know how to play this game. I played this game 150 times. Seriously. Shut your mouth. I don't care. I don't care. You're standing next to the block. Yeah, I know. I don't care. I beat this game like 50 times. Shut your mouth. Uh, pay attention to what the action icon says. <laughs> it's like, you're not my mom or teacher. Dang, shut up. I know the Deku Tree told me to listen to you, but dang. 
want to hear every little tiny little insignificant like how was your day link how was your I, I had a nice day i had corn for breakfast and it's like ew who has corn for breakfast you're nasty i mean so random sometimes oh my gosh i'm always random but like in these videos it gets out of control hey here in this room you'd be like oh my gosh what do i do what do i do what do i do well just you gonna pick up the nut or what dang Ugh. but you gotta do like these torches with your Deku stick and the door opens so yeah that's good I don't think this is the room with the other Skulltula but no I think this is the next room I actually want some water but I'm too excited to play oh gosh I almost ran in that guy yeah, slash your face All right, actually your buttocks or your thorax thorax every time I hear thorax I think of Thor like wielding an axe like the Marvel guy Anyways, that's a different story. Um, I think in this room, though, there's going to be some new enemies that we haven't seen before, which I find kind of interesting. Um, is this the wall? I think it is, actually. Um, later, um, you'll have to bomb this wall, if it is the wall I'm thinking of. And uh, there'll be another sculpture over there. Oh, I can't hear the TV, though, because... Uh, right now. Okay, drop, drop, drop. Yes. Use the enemies. Um, what are they called? They're called Goma Larva. Kind of ugly looking things, aren't they? Eh. And here they go down easy, and they're not much of a threat, honestly. I find them rather boring. Hmm. Anyways, take your stick with on fire, with fire attached to it. Yes, equip this stick with fire. Come over here, take care of those webs. And then you'll come and enter this little crevice, and this crevice is made of brick, so it's less likely to collapse and kill me. And, uh, hey, it's, we were already in this room, weren't we? Huh, cool. Anyways, uh, come over here and... Oh my gosh. If you see it anyways one more time, I'm gonna slap you on the wrist. I honestly will. I really will. <sighs> anyways. Oh my gosh. Uh, what you have to do is you gotta push this block over here. Actually, you don't have to do that, but it makes it easier to get here if you, like, have to save and leave or something. I don't know why I hit the start button, but whatever. Uh, oh my... Quit hitting the start button. This is, this is how you get out of that. I'm playing too much... Metroid Prime, I guess. Metroid Prime 2, I still can't beat that game. Uh, why do you reference other games while playing? Well, let's play, gosh. I never block in this game, though. I hardly ever do it. I know it's, like, really smart to do it, but I never do. Oh, wow, you actually have to, um... Do you? Huh. Yeah, you have to. Wow. You have to come over here, get the fire. And the flames. <laughs> Yeah. I should open that chest, but I remember opening it and it was like nothing really interesting. So I was like, ah, I remember not to open that chest ever again. Barrel roll right here and that will get rid of your web. <laughs> Why can't I shot web? Gosh. Hey. What are you gonna do, Napoleon? I'm gonna let's play. What do you think? Ah. Uh, anyways, uh, what did that dude tell me? I already forgot. I think something about 320 or something. I don't know. Anyways, punish these jerks in the proper order and they will turn blue and, and solidify don't go back in your hole I'm talking to you dang and we'll paralyze them in the right way talk to the last one and he'll like freak the crud out dude he went back and sold didn't he that little jerk okay now i'm getting you jerk all right yeah how, how did you know our secret uh your brother ratted you out uh, it's so annoying that i'm gonna reveal the secret of queen goma to you okay that to me makes Little to no sense. You made me angry, so I will m g help you. Ah, that's, that doesn't make any dang sense. What the heck? Huh. Anyways, his friends will go away, or actually his brothers. And inside here is the boss. But um, we're gonna do that next episode, guys. So um, see you then.